All right, folks, we start this match in the 135-pound weight class. Takedown by Simon Kitsitz of Wyoming Seminary. He won 28 by Major, 4 0 Wyoming Seminary. 140, Austin Ormsby of Blair with the takedown. He won a major 15 5, and we are tied at 4. 145 pound weight class, number one wrestler in the country, Chris Villalonga with a pin for Blair at 149, and Blair goes up 10 to 4. 152, Jesse Shanneman of Blair with the back points on his way to a tech ball win. And Blair is up now 15 to 4. 160 pound weight class we go. Chris Moon of Wyoming Seminary with a takedown. He won by tech ball. It's now 15 to 9. Blair in front. 171, Jay Wheeler of Wyoming Seminary with a takedown and back points. He won 6 to 1. Make it 15 to 12. Blair with the lead. 189 pound weight class, Matt Billado of Wyoming Seminary with the back points. He won 9 to 5. And folks, we are tied at 15. 215 pound weight class, Mike Evans of Blair with a pin at 254. It's now 21 to 15, Blair in front. Heavyweight, Mike McMullen of Wyoming Seminary with a reversal. He won 4 to 2. It's now 21 to 18, Blair. 103 pound weight class, Max Hobbleback of Blair with the back points. He won 6 to 1, 24 to 18, Blair in front. 112 pound weight class Evan Silver with a takedown. He won 3 to 1. Make it 27 to 18. Blair of Wyoming Seminary. 119. Blair wraps up the victory. Mark Gray. He won 11 to 3. Make it 31 to 18. Blair. It was good. I mean, I wrestled that kid before. I beat him 2 1 on Iron Man, and uh, I knew I had to get. I knew I had to get that major because it'd be huge for the team. So I just. Opened up my shots and really moved my feet there and got them off balance, and I got the major, which is big for the team. On to 125, Garrett Hammond with a pin in 18 seconds for Wyoming Seminary. They trail 31 to 24. And Eric Morris of Wyoming Seminary with the back points. He won by Tech Ball. Blair beats Wyoming Seminary at Blair. The final score, 31 to 29. I had my mindset the entire match. Uh, I knew I, I, I had a job to do, and Jesse knew he had a job to do, and you know, everyone on the team knew what they had to do to, uh, to come up with the victory. And, uh, you know, we, we focused on getting those bonus points and, and really just wrestling the full match and try and break them and, and, and really just get do as best we could. Coming in from last weekend, we're a little bit banged up. Uh, we've had a kind of a grind uh, the whole month of January, and, and we got some kids that aren't in 100% form. So uh, we got a chance to rest a 25 and a 30-pounder uh, in, in that match. And, you know, they came back and scored two a fall on a tech. To, we ended up beating them 31-29, I think the end of the score was. Uh, you know, some key matches early on were uh, get, getting a fall at, at 145. That was that was huge. And getting a major at uh, 40. Ormsby and, and Villalonga coming through at those those two matches. And and at uh, um, 135 pounds of, uh, you know, just giving up a major there. So we were playing some some uh, kind of points in the in the beginning of the match. A little scary part at 171 at the end of the match. We ended up in a cradle and we were able to fight off and uh, gave up a, a regular decision there. But, you know, it's coming down. Both guys are tied 1-1. That's how close the, the match is, uh, you know. And they're a very balanced team. They have good kids all the way up and down their lineup. We have a few holes. Uh, we have some, you know, nine kids that are really good. But there was some great wrestling, uh, some, a great match at heavyweight, two of the top uh, heavyweights in the country, two of the top 112-pounders in the country, two of the top three-pounders in the in the country. So there were some great matchups in that match. How about uh, just coming off that loss last week? And what was the mood of the team coming in this week? Wow. And what were you hoping to do here today? Um, we knew we had to, that was a pass. I mean, yeah, we lost, but we had we knew we had a quality Wyoming Sem and uh, St. Ed's, and they were coming for us because we were on our down and, they, and we had to wrestle tough to beat them, and which we did. Obviously, that tough was uh, we we took pretty hard, and uh, but. It was it was good in a way, uh, whereas it motivated us for you know this coming week because we knew we had two tough matches. Sam, we you know we came away with the victory in a close one, and uh, we got another tough one coming up. So uh, it served more of a motivational purpose as uh, now we got something to prove instead of uh, defending, uh, you know coming in as defending national champions. We got we got to prove ourselves now. You learn from your losses a lot more than you do from your wins. Uh, we saw things that we needed to work on last week after wrestling Graham, um, and, and we made some adjustments, and we'll continue to work on it. That's why we wrestle those teams. 
How about uh, Mark Gray's uh, match clincher for you? A 2-1 match with that kid at Ironman. Was able to come out there and really seal the deal for you. Right. Well, we knew Kyle had been out That's for the last quality. three weeks. And uh, one thing that we wanted to do was, was push the pace with him and uh, really attack him on our feet. Mark did a great job there. He, he, I thought he did a really good job in going to get that major decision. And then he had to ride him out at the end of the match. Kyle Johnson's very talented. He's a great athlete. And, uh, you know, to be able to do that against that caliber kid, whether he's, you know, been in the lineup or not in the lineup is, is a great job by Mark. Now, this is a big, uh, big end of your dual meet season here. Uh, obviously, the focus now will turn to national preps. Yeah, I mean, uh, the team's still got to wrestle hard. There's a lot of great teams there, a lot of great individuals, and we just got to keep focused. It's not a break. National preps is a great tournament, and we just got to keep going hard, and we'll finish up on top. How about uh, you going to Cornell next year? You both, you and Shannon, uh, obviously Mark's brother Mike is at Cornell already. That bit of a connection for Blair Academy there? Uh, a little bit, I guess. I mean, me and Jesse both know a lot of kids on the team, and uh, we've gotten uh, to know the st coaching staff for a while, and me and Jesse both like every single one of them, and I think we're going to fit in real well up there.